and today I'm going to bring you my Project Pan Quarter 3 Project Use It Up Midway update and it's mid-August which is just unbelievable. I do not know where this year has gone. Um, while in quarantine every like time is an enigma so <laughs> I can't believe we're already here to do the midway update and since the last time I did one of these videos I didn't have Invisalign and now I do so pardon any weirdness going on with my mouth but <laughs> still getting used to it um so i have really 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 good progress and a lot of these products i feel like will not be done until the bitter end and i have been working hard on pretty much all of these products like especially the foundation the hourglass vanish stick foundation I have just tried this in so many ways and thankfully most recently I found a way I really like it on its own so I can use a little bit more of it because before I was always using some of this but then mixing it with like a different foundation that I liked better but lately my skin has been a little more oily which is really the only time this product works for me so I have really 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 worked hard and it's all the way turned down and it goes down to about like here which yeah like about here and I rewatched my first like intro video and when I started it was about up here so that's really good and let me just twist it up to see like how much actual product is left and so we only have that much product left so that is really exciting. I definitely used up that much within this first like month and a half and so I have a lot of like hope that I'll be able to use this up and this is a product that it's like not easy for me to use because it's just very like thick and like heavy coverage so you can't use very much and the way I've been using it most recently is I just do like a little swirl on each cheek and then a little dot and a little dot on my chin and forehead and then I take my dry Real Technique sponge. I know most people like never use their sponge dry but I don't know I just really like using it dry so I use the flat side and I just like bounce it all over my face it takes so long to like blend it in the water probably would help but it just I don't know I like the finish better with the dry sponge and the key for me with this is the like moisturizer or the primer that's underneath so lately I've been using the Fenty Skin um, SPF and that's like pretty hydrating it feels just beautiful on the skin it's like a little bit glowy and when I put this on top, which is more matte, that combination just really, really, like, works well for me. And so I would say use, like, a hydrating primer, like the um, Banana Bright primer from Ole Henriksen, or, like, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base, or just, like, any hydrating primer, or just, like, a nice moisturizer, and then put this on. That's at least how I've been able to use it. And I'm really glad I put it in my project for this quarter because there's no way my skin would have been like right for this foundation any other time of year because I tried to use this in the winter thinking that this was a very hydrating foundation but to me this is actually very like just like dry like it it's not drying on the skin but if your skin is dry it makes your skin look drier so I'm glad I'm working on this and I am confident that I will be able to finish this up which will make me feel amazing because this was expensive and I gave into the hype without really thinking about like my actual skin type and like what I like with my foundation but like I have my full face of makeup of course but I think it looks just really nice as my base and it's working for me so this one has been a lot of trial and error, but I'm glad I found finally found a way I like using it and I don't like dread using it because I used to dread <laughs> wearing it and now I really like am happy with the way it looks on my skin. So thank goodness. Then a product that I haven't used 
as much of and I'm not really sure if I'll be able to finish it up is the um, YSL Cherry My Cherie Tint and Oil. So this is a completely like opaque packaging and I can't like see through this at all. Like I don't think you can. Yeah, that doesn't help. And then when I um, I can open it up and sometimes when it gets lower, I can like see into the container, but I think there's just still a lot of product. So yeah, that doesn't help. But I just honestly haven't used this lip product very much. I've been more into like lighter colors and this is like as bright as this part of the packaging. It's a very like vibrant bright pink and it's beautiful, but I feel like I have to be in that certain mood and it like stains the lips which is really nice but then you're kind of committed <laughs> to that color so I think I will not be able to finish this up and this was very ambitious to begin with because this is like I haven't used a lot of it before I started this project so thinking back I should have picked a different product but um we'll keep working on it. It's definitely a product like this color is one I really only use in like the spring summer and I don't know. I just don't see myself using that up to be honest. But a product that I am also really proud of the progress is my Chanel Rose Bronze Blush and I rewatched my intro video and I can see a lot of progress. So here is where we're at now. You can see there's like this whole like round crack forming. And to me that just shows I am this close to hitting pan. Like it is so thin. Like when you look at it in different angles, you can see like how thin this part is and Oh my gosh, I am just so, so excited. I'm wearing this today. I have worn this the majority of the time during this project. I've worn different blushes from time to time, but this is the one that I wear the most by far. It is so beautiful. It goes with the makeup I'm really liking these days. And so it hasn't been like a really big challenge, I guess, to make progress on it but I do want to hit pan for sure. So I will have to like stay focused and probably like consciously use it more than I was before. But I think in a month and a half, I can easily maybe hit pan on this. So I'm very excited to see that progress. And then my Becca Vanilla Quartz Mini Highlighter. So this one I have used quite a bit. Um, there's definitely some wear in the pan and it's getting like you can see it's thinner on the sides um, I'm wearing it today just like on my chest and a lot of the times I wear more like v-neck cut shirts or if I'm wearing like a tank top I'll put it on my shoulders and I don't wear makeup every day because <laughs> I work from home now but when I do especially on the weekends and stuff if I'm going like outside at all um, I'll be sure like I always make sure to use this and normally I'll put on like my SPF on my chest and my shoulders and stuff and then I'll like um, buff this on the skin so it really is like it lasts and it just is really vibrant and pretty and it's like a nice sheen but it's not like crazy or anything it's not like super glittery just a really nice look on my skin and I think I can use this up I definitely want to because I don't love this color as like a face highlight and once we get into fall I don't know how much I would actually use this like on my neck and chest if like <laughs> if I have like a v-neck on or whatever but yeah I really hope to be able to finish that. Okay into the skincare and I didn't even show you guys the products that I finished up oh my gosh I'm all over the place but I finished up four products <laughs> wow I am like a noob right now but I use up both of the body lotions that I put in this project so uh, the Aveeno Creamy Moisturizing Oil, which is just a really, really lightweight moisturizer. This I used up completely, and 
I liked this. It's like a very faint scent. It definitely smells kind of like baby lotion or something to me. It's just like very calming and just like not a strong scent. Um, I liked this. Definitely good for this time of year when I'm already like hot and I don't want like a lot of heavy cream on. And so I would put this mostly on my arms at night and it was really nice, but I wouldn't repurchase that. And then the Bath & Body Works Fresh Coconut Colada Ultra Shea Body Cream. This is like the other end of the spectrum of like thick body creams. This is definitely a rich cream as I'm sure you guys know if you've ever used this. And the way I use this up, first of all it smells amazing. Oh yeah, that is so good. Um, I use this like mostly on my lower body and I just like really really massage it in like to my hips, my stomach, my butt, like my thighs and I just felt like it just really like helped me like, I don't know, like invigorate that part of my body where I can definitely get like a lot of cellulite and stuff like that especially working from home and not like getting as much activity. Um, I just felt like that was a good way to use this product and it's thick enough that you can like really really like massage it and it has that good slip to it. So I actually used up two bottles of this in um, July. So I finished up the one that's in my project and then Caitlin gave me one for my birthday and I finished that up as well. So. I definitely found a way to, for it to work for me, but I don't absolutely prefer this lotion. I much prefer my Hemp's body lotions, and so I'm glad to have finished this up. But if you find these not like as like nice on your skin, like a little too heavy, try it as like a massage almost. It was really, really nice. And then I use up two of the Peter Thomas Roth um, little masks. So I have five of these in total and I used up two. I used up the Irish Moore Mud Mask and the Rose Sem Stem Cell Mask and both of these are fine. All these masks are fine. I don't really find them to be anything extraordinary. Um, the Rose Stem Cell was like a hydrating mask and the Irish Moore Mask was like a purifying mask they were fine so I used both of those up but I have three more to go until I can really say that these are done because I counted the five of these as one product so I shouldn't have said I used up four products I have technically used up two products um, but I have three of them left and I think these two the cucumber gel and the Hungarian thermal water I have not used at all but then the pumpkin enzyme mask I've used at least one time for sure maybe two times um, but you don't need very much of this it's a um, like chemical exfoliant and a little bit of a physical exfoliant um, mask so I only want to use this when I feel like my skin really needs that exfoliation but these other two I could pretty much use like whenever so I'll definitely finish these up because I don't really want to have to store them anymore and like I said they're okay but not like absolutely like mind-blowingly amazing and then my last two skincare products I have been using every single day and they are still hanging on so I have my fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water so this is like a little spray smells amazing like citrus and normally I don't like citrus but this smells really good um I swear this sounds like it has the same amount of product as when I started and I use this every morning so whether I take a shower or I just wash my face at the sink I will dry my face off and then I will like douse my face in this I'll do like like up and down motions and I'll do like I don't know like six sprays because this is a very fine mist and then I'll put on my serums and moisturizer so I feel like it just adds that little bit of hydration and slip to my serums like I was using the um, Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum and that did not have like any slip to it so I started using this just to help that like slip and blend into my skin and then I was like let's just keep using it because like it's nice in the morning kind of like nice invigorating like citrus scent like I said and 
I like this. I don't think it's like a must have by any means, but since I have it, it's really nice to like have that little like aromatherapy and then have it kind of help like blend in my serums and stuff. So I hope I'll be able to finish this, but like seriously, it sounds like I still have half of this bottle and that's what I said it sounded like when I started this project. So I really don't know. But then my um, Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, I've been using this every day as well and I am really, really close to being done with this. So um, this is kind of weird. It looks like it's separate like separated a little bit. So when I use it in the morning, I just kind of like swirl my finger in there to kind of stir it up. And then I just like put all my ring fingers and then apply it onto my eyes. But this is really nice. I wish it smelled like banana, but it smells kind of like, like a little bit like citrus, but like a little bit not, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I like this, it has a nice glow to it which I like under my concealer and stuff like that, but it's not my like, favorite eye cream of life, but it definitely has like a good like slip to it. It's easy to use. It doesn't like irritate my skin or my eyes in any way. And I'll definitely be able to use that up. So that's good. So I think I'll be able to use up for sure the eye cream, the masks, the foundation, the highlighter, and hopefully hip pan on my blush. That would be like amazing. And I really hope I can finish up the vitamin water stuff, but I just don't know. So we will see and you guys will have to stay tuned for my finale at the end of September, which sounds like a lifetime from now, but it's gonna be here before we know it. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my update and if you are doing a project pan as well, let me know how it's going for you. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!